Um, that next topic I wanted to get into was positive Mike McGlinchey news. I'm gonna stop calling him Mike McFloppy because I know <laughs> he's he's working hard, man. He's eating those Big Macs. You know, he's working out in the gym. You saw him. You saw him at the. Oh my God, at the pro day, the open pro day, the local. Yeah, the local pro day at Levi's today. You know, he was lifting some weights. He was doing some suicides. He was running. He was getting his, you know, body back in shape after that season ending quad tear. He tore that quad right off his bone, and that that's a serious injury, man. That's not a simple thing to cure, so that's serious. And the fact that he's, you know, lifting weights like that, going that heavy, that just shows you, like, this guy is recovering well. Like, he wouldn't be able to do all that stuff if he was still injured. So this, this, um, this is some good si- signs, and... Some positive news for Niner fans. Absolutely. You know, I hope the best for Mike McGlinchey. He's entering the last year of his contract with the 49ers. I believe this is his uh, fifth year of his first round uh, rookie deal. So, hey, he's, he's going to try to break the bank next year and, and try to get as much money as he can. So hopefully he can put that production on the field and hopefully we see the best season uh, from Mike McGlinchey as a 49er. He dealt with that that quad tear, and it was an injury that some were saying he may not be able to to have the same level of production as he did before. Um, and we're going to need him to be uh, steady, and we're going to need him to be there at that right tackle position because, I mean, I know Jalen Moore, he could play there. Um, you know, Kyle Shanahan's favorite offensive lineman, Tom Compton, he's no longer on the roster. I think he signed with Denver this offseason, so – um, you know, hey, Mike McGlinchey, hopefully he, he uh, gets his footing back and he'll be there come week one to play that right tackle position. We're going to need it. Of course, man. And this guy's a great run blocker. He was 6305 before, you know, he had a season ending injury. He's coming back even bigger knowing he's lifting some weight. You know, he's working his butt off, you know. He's doing what he's got to do to prepare, man. And I think he's doing this for Trey Lance, man. You know, a young offensive line, a young quarterback, generational talent. He's going to have to protect him on that blind side. And, you know, two Notre Dame guys, Aaron Banks and and Mike McGlinchey. So that connection is going to build, you know. Mike, Mike McGlinchey is going to come back even stronger and healthier in 2022. So.